Alrighty, YouTubers, welcome to another statue video update. Uh, not a ton of huge changes uh, have gone on today. I have thrown up pretty much all the posters, cleaned up the walls, and moved a few things around. Most notably here, I put my Logan one-third behind the Deadpool bust with the Logan poster. I do like this, and now this solidifies all X-Men in this corner of the room. Because previously this was more or less a lone wolf statue. And I have always liked it next to this Deadpool bus. I kind of feel like they go well together. And I like it next to the poster. So I think I'll keep this like that. Uh, you know, then I put the X-Men Apocalypse poster there and angled Magneto's cape more to the left. And I think that looks pretty cool actually how I angled that. And that allows me to see that poster of X-Men Apocalypse. I actually really like that movie. Uh, then we come over here to Marvel, so the plan is obviously to get the Captain Marvel bust. She'll go right there next to the one-fourth. And then we'll put Thor, Iron Man, Iron Man bust. I put the Mondo poster there. That poster there, because you can't have something too low. So you got the Thanos, Thanos. There's the Thanos on Throne. Exclusive art print right there. I put art prints also inside each of these cubes. Uh, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy. I uh, just put Age of Ultron and Infinity War. They're both in that. Here, I'm going to do Widow and Hawkeye. And I like this. A buddy gave me an idea of that. You know, they're basically partners in crime. So I did that. And then I did the Iron Man Mark 42 and Iron Patriot there. And I think that looks pretty good together like that. I got Thanos here. And I put that poster there, which previously was on the wall, but it wouldn't fit anymore. So I did that. And then I got the Infinity going, a comic book, Red Skull poster. Loki, Ultron, so basically all like that. I might connect the lighting for the Infinity Gauntlet to my system. Uh, just have to basically move that shelf out, connect it, run the wire over to my system. I just need to check and make sure I have a plug. I know there is at least a plug to plug it in, but I'm not sure if I can connect it to my system, although I'm sure I could figure it out. Here's one dilemma I have. I mean, I think these look good here, yes, but I think there's better options. Uh, I'm trying to think if, if I move these into my Transformers room, so all Transformer statues were together, then obviously I could return Kong vs. Skullcrawler and potentially put the T-Rex in blue in this setup somehow. Uh, that's a possibility. Uh, you know, and then next to the Raptor bust, I think that'd look really cool. Uh, so I went ahead and A, removed Alita here, put him there. That's empty for now, that's empty for now. Uh, that, that will change. Uh, here's what I'm doing so far right now with the 110. So let me get my lighting real quickly and do a quick span of the room. So... I'm getting a Justice League Mondo poster for that instead of the Shazam. Uh, picked it up off eBay super cheap. So Wonder Woman, Hell Hath No Fury, art print right there with the sword, covered the wires. I went ahead and put Alita right there with Ghost in the Shell. Uh, so basically underneath my DC is all random movies until right there. And then we got the Underworld, of course, one fourth setup like that and I like that um and so I'm trying to order the like and Marcus get them of course uh still working with the retailers and getting it they're not being very responsive in general most retailers I've had lots of issues with lately where communication really lacks and it's really annoying it makes me not want to do business with them but sometimes you have no options you just have to deal with bad customer service but Lycan, Marcus. Marcus' wings will probably go behind Wonder Woman a little bit, uh, which is fine. And then I put just my Blu-rays right there for now. I might just leave them there. And I can still easily grab them. Got the Underworld there, the Pendant of Lucian. And then I know the Lycan and Marcus come with two Underworld plaques. I'll put one right there and one right there. And right here, I can either do A, a large poster, or B, like an underworld prop, like the Celine Stars. I uh, could even do a small poster and the Celine Stars. I do plan to get the Predator, Fugitive Predator wrist blade and put it on that little wall stand. 
I'd love to be able to display the mask behind him on a wall mount, but there's not really a wall mount out there. I haven't really found a good option, so it's like, I'm not sure what to do with that mask. I've even thought of just returning Splinter to the other room to fill the spot and just putting the mask in the shelf raised and then just on the right there, the mask, and then lower him. I think that could probably look pretty cool. Uh, so I might consider that, uh, you know, splinter fit fine in the other room. I don't mind it at all. So here's the one idea I have. And let me know your thoughts on this. So let's say I did move Transformers to my gym room. And I'll show you where we're at. And I move these two out. It will be a hard fit to fit these over on those stuvas. I mean, I probably could just do these two and keep Kong in here, actually. That would fit fine. So let's say I've put these two in another room. I could do one-tenth scales on this table, the entire endgame battle. So that would not include Infinity War, the Black Order, or Vormir, which I'd have all in there with backdrops for all three. So I'd have the Black Order right there, Vormir right there, backdrops on all three. So one tenth in there and the entire end game battle in the middle and keep Hulkbuster right there. That's a thought. And I think, you know, I did put the one tenths on this table and it looked really cool having them all there in the middle of the room. You can see them really good. So I did like it for sure. Plus, you know, the T-Rex does cover the little TV when I'm leaning back. So the one tenths are a lot smaller. Right now, this is what I am doing until I can, you know, move these guys. I was going to do Thor and Iron Man versus Thanos, Black Order with General Outrider, and then basically all the other ones in these glass shelves. So you got this setup, which looks cool. And I was thinking, you know, what if I just did them in their each individual shelves? Obviously, I can add some more in there when Pepper Pots and them come, you know, in pairs, basically. Uh, these guys are a little too big to fit in those glass shelves down there. Even in a detail, that freaking Falcon's too big. So I was like putting it right here for now. Uh, in here, I put Groot, Spider-Man. That's just empty. Put Alien and that. I don't know about having the one tenths right there. It looks okay. Not horrible by any means. It's just, God, the Falcon is too big to go in like these glass shelves. Same with uh, Black Panther, too big. I really would like to put them right there. Even the color of that coffee table matches the bases better than like a white base. So that kind of works better. So I really would like to do that. Having all the one tenths right there. And then just my three dioramas with the backdrops under the television. I'd even install lighting underneath there eventually. Because uh, right now the lighting does not cover anything under there. So I am thinking of potentially moving these two in there where Transformers are at. I guess I'd just leave Kong vs. Skullcrawler over there. Cause don't really have an option. Let me show you in this room how it would work if I was to move it. I still have lots of boxes in here for the statues I haven't sold. So this room's really a mess right now. Like that's the backdrop for Endgame and Vormir. These are statues I'm selling. So just got the boxes ready. So the moment a person pays, I gotta box it up, ship it. So here's my thoughts. I can angle this bench the other way like this. So when I'm like benching or shoulder press or whatever, my arms would be right here instead. And my legs are over there. That's no big problem at all. And then I was thinking I could put a 50, 48 inch wide stuva right there. So keep in mind behind that curtain is spare statue parts. So I may go to that every now and then just when I wanna switch apart. Could be once a month, could be every six months. Uh, it wouldn't be too often. So what that means is if the statue part is at the bottom, I would have to move the shelf carefully to get to those statue parts. If it's up top, I could simply reach over, no problem. So that's one problem, doing a shelf right there. It will stick out to about right there where that weight is coming out, like from right it, there when it hits to about right there. 
and it actually come to about right there as well. So think about from that mat touching that shelf, it actually come to about right there. So it cut off Kentaro. So what I do is I put Kentaro inside the shelf right there and it'd be two shelves. So then I'd put Motaro next to them. And basically that would just be empty because it'd be covered by the shelf. And then I'd do obviously lock down an Optimus right there. Boom, boom. And then I'd also do the Bumblebee wall plaque in here somewhere. Uh, you know, I could put that best case scenario, God, somewhere, maybe move that mirror out and just do it right there above Kratos or lower the poster or something. I'd have to do something for the Bumblebee wall plaque. I mean, I could place it directly behind Bumblebee and that's the poster. <laughs> that's a thought. Uh, but, you know, that was just some thoughts. I don't know if I'm going to do this or not. I'm still thinking about it. You know, I can easily head to Ikea, buy the shelf, move the Transformers, opens up two big spots uh, in my main theater or movie room to move out things and make things look better. I'm just wondering how it would look to have a shelf basically right there. Covering that, with basically covering Kentaro statues underneath and on top and make it a lot tighter in this room already when there's only so much limited space to work out in general. Granted, I still think I wouldn't ever hit the statues and they wouldn't be in danger of being hit. And it would still look cool, I think. So I might probably do it because wife was mentioning wanting to go to Ikea this week. <clears throat> So then we come in the DBZ room. Uh, not a ton has really changed in here. Still got the statues on the ground that are up for sale and need to be boxed up. Uh, the only thing is I fixed all the, <coughs> the paint on the walls, added the posters. So I basically just wall mounted that poster right there. And I added uh, Superman there. I don't know if he'll stay there or not, because if I get the flash, obviously the flash needs to go in here. But that's an idea of how four PFs would look. But if I get flash, I'll have to move Superman. I could throw him in the movie statue room or wherever. No, it's not a huge deal. I do want to get the flash. I think the color aspect of it would look really good. You know, because you got the vibrant green and yellow and dark black and then a bright red would look good. Though, like, Superman looks good there because of the red cape. But Flash's entire red body, especially the sideshow paint, would look awesome. So, that's basically the updates. I'm getting real tired of moving statues. It's it's exhausting. Uh, moving statues to rearranging. I mean, statues are not light. There's always the risk of potentially dropping and dropping it. So, you know, I still have some options for like right here and here. I was thinking if I just return Splinter there and do the mask and do Pennywise there, the tweeter head. Lots of options. <coughs> I have heard some people say they prefer my old setup. So there's pros and cons, I think, of both setups. One, having the queen bust in this room and this Marvel setup looks absolutely amazing. You know, I'm able to see lots of statues a lot better. So I think this aspect looks a lot better. I like having my Predator bust next to the It bust. I think that looks amazing. I think Wonder Woman half scale is better because when I'm sitting down, I'm able to see her better. Before, I could only see her when I was standing in front of her, not sitting down on my couch. So I can see statues a lot better. There's some areas I'm still not happy with. Like I said, the one-tenth scales. And I'm pretty confident I'm gonna move these Transformers out and just have no Transformers in here. Just in the other room is a dedicated Transformer room. So I'll probably just do that. I'm like 90% sure I'm gonna do that. And then obviously I could put blue T-Rex or T-Rex blue here. I just worry they don't have a ton of presence because of how short they are. 
how good that will look right there. So it's definitely some things to think about, but I, I do have some ideas on how to make this work and look good. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll, uh, you know, I'm still trying to get like in a Marcus, uh, just been having some issues, uh, but they're definitely gonna be coming to the cave. I swear on my life I'm getting Marcus and like, and I will, all this will not be for nothing. It's just I'm having issues with retailers. Even trying to purchase the Iron Man bust, I'm having some issues. So, I've been trying to pay for it for almost a week now, and my retailer is not sending me the shipping notice. So, I'm just like, uh, I don't understand why it's so hard to pay for an item. <laughs> when someone wants to pay me for a statue, I'm sending them an invoice immediately. I'm not waiting a week. I just find that ridiculous. Anyways, folks, thanks you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.